Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Techspurt and these bad boys right here are the Urbanista Athens, a fresh new pair of true wireless earbuds. Cost you around 120 quid uh, from the Urbanista website, but actually at the time I shot this video, they were reduced slightly to just under 100 quid, so if you act fast, you might be able to get a bit of a reduction on the go. Now last year, Urbanista actually put out a pair of true wireless earbuds called the Stockholms, and I reviewed them right here on Techspurt. If you don't have the time to go away and watch it, I'll give you the succinct version right here. They weren't very good, unfortunately. But thankfully, Urbanista did not take offence. They've sent in the Athens and I'm glad that they did because they are a massive upgrade in most respects. Now first up the good news is that Urbanista has decided to ditch that silly AirPod style design so you don't get a dangly down knobby bit on these things. They're more of the traditional sort of bullet style true wireless earbuds that are very common these days. Now, as you can see there it's a very simple straightforward design and you can only pick them up in the one colour which is of course black so not the most exciting overall but hey ho and because they've got this rubbery silicone surface into them it does mean unfortunately they do pick up like bits of dust and grime and crap quite easily if you accidentally stick them in your pocket when you bring them out again it'll basically look like Scarface has sneezed all over them and as you can see there you've got the little LED ring which basically acts like a status indicator on each of these buds as well but they tend to go off once they're actually paired in, in your ears so it's more just like when they're actually busy pairing up uh, when you first pull them out the case that they light up now as with pretty much all true wireless earbuds uh, with the sort of silicone -y tip you do get a selection of different size tips bundled in the box with the Urban Easter Athens so you can find the ones that fit your ear shape perfectly and you also get three different sizes of the wings as well bundled in there they're very easy to rip off and you just bung on a new one depending on the shape of your ear find the perfect fit and then you're good to go and once I found the perfect size for my particular lug holes I found that they just stay in there nice and securely helped along by the little wing attachment as well which just helps to hold them in place I've been tested out the Urban East Athens for about a week now and not once have they felt like they're going to fall out absolutely fine if you're going to be jogging using them at the gym whatever you want and to further prove the point watch test and no worries at all if you're looking for a pair of true wireless earbuds that you can stick in your ears and leave in there for hours at a time. I found that even when they've been lodged in my skull for a, a full afternoon, they've stayed nice and comfortable throughout that duration. Definitely a lot, lot better than the Urban Easter Stockholms, which were all scratchy and horrible. And in further good news, these Urban Easter Athens buds have an IP67 water and dust resistance range. So what that means is you can actually submerge them in water for a, a small duration and they'll be absolutely fine. Now, as far as connectivity goes, the Athens once again did the job it's bluetooth 5 of course on board just like pretty much all true wireless earbuds these days and uh, yeah i found when i was paired up with my phone the connection stayed strong I did have a little bit of stuttering when i was uh, going through like london bridge station things like that but i think that's more down to the phone than the actual buds themselves otherwise it was absolutely fine uh, when you're using them with another device strong and stable just like the uk now if you look really close at each of these buds you'll notice that the central bit in between the led ring is actually a push button and these do different things depending on which bud you're busy pushing in so for instance a quick tap of the left bud will lower the volume a quick tap of the right bud will raise it back up again a double tap of the left bud will either pause or play your music and meanwhile if you double tap the right bud that will call up your phone's voice assistant like so and the voice assistant stuff works absolutely fine with uh, the Google Assistant and it will apparently work with Siri as well, though I haven't actually personally tested that out. Oh, and while we're on the subject of that as well, the mic quality is absolutely fine as well. I found that it picked up my voice commands clearly, even when I was out and about in a busy high street with lots of noise going on, stuff like that. So, good stuff. And when you listen to music, you can also long press the right button in order to skip a track. Sometimes there's a little bit of a delay of a second or two, but nothing too bad. And if you uh, long press the left bird, that will take you back a track. Of course, the fundamental problem with push buttons as opposed to touch controls is that every time you use them, you are basically driving the bird into your ear canal, which is less than ideal. So what I found, having tested out dozens of these bloody things by now, is that you want to use the, the pinch technique, as I've uh, termed it, patent pendant. And all you need to do for this is basically just pinch like so between your fingers and then push with your little middle naughty finger like so. And that just keeps the bird nice and secure and still while you're busy uh, doing your thing with the buttons absolutely no worries and then no discomfort. So, so far, so good. But of course, a pretty major selling factor of any pair of true wireless earbuds is do they actually sound good? What's the audio quality like? And thankfully, the Urban Easter Athens are pretty decent for that sort of 100 pound price point. The only problem is that they are quite bass heavy, which is fine if you listen to a lot of rock and metal like I do. So it's really chuggy uh, guitar thrashing tracks. They sound absolutely brilliant. But unfortunately, when you start to deal with more complex tracks with lots of different layers, sometimes that bass can be a little bit overwhelming, can kind of muddy the rest of the uh, the sound. And sometimes some of those finer details don't really come through. They're kind of lost in 
in the kind of honey glaze of the base. So yeah, if you're a big fan of those lows, then you'll get on very well indeed with the Urbanista Athens. If you'd prefer more balanced sound for this sort of price point, I'd recommend checking out the Creative Outlay Gold, something like that instead, which has a more of a balanced overall approach to audio output. Uh, but the good news is if you listen to podcasts or audiobooks, anything like that, especially anything with a deep male voice, that bassy sort of rumble that really resonates right in your core it adds a, a little bit of spice to the uh, the overall performance, I guess. And of course, there's no dedicated noise uh, cancellation here on the Urban Easter Athens, as you kind of expect at this price point. You've got to pay more of around 150 pounds and above in order to get those sorts of features on board. But the noise isolation is absolutely fine. When they're lodged in there, they do a pretty good job of just blocking out uh, environmental noise naturally anyway. Uh, no better or worse than most other true wireless earbuds with the silicone tips, I would say. But I found that if I was on a tube or a train, something like that, I could just stick them in. Didn't have to have my music blaring and it would still cut out everything quite nicely. And what about the battery life? Well, each of these Urban Easter Athens buds has a sizable 50 million battery stuffed inside. The good news is that means great returns on your battery life. Once you pull them out of the case, you can use them for around eight hours before those batteries will die. That's pretty much bang on the estimate that Urban Easter actually gave me. And I found that yes, in real world circumstances, real world testing, they did actually live up to that full eight hours. You'll definitely struggle to find many true wireless earbuds that can provide more than eight hours of battery life on a single charge. Again, the Creative Outlay Golds have got it beat because they're just absolutely stunning. Frankly, they manage around 12 to 13 hours on a single charge, which is just nuts. Uh, but again, these will not disappoint. Even if you're going on a long haul journey, something like that, do you the job and when you bung them back in the case they charge up nice and quick as well so when they do need a charge or you're just done listening to them and you want to store them away safely just bung them back in the case you'll see that the little led status ring will start to light up i have found that the connectors are a little bit tiny and actually getting them to uh into the correct position can be a little bit fiddly at times so you've got to make sure they're in just the right position before you close up to make sure they charge and of course you've got the little four light led charge an indicator here on the front which just tells you how much charge is actually left in the case. I found that you can get around three full recharges from the case before the case itself needs recharging as well and the good news is it's type C USB as well so I just bung that in job done. And the case itself, like the buds as well, basically nice, simple, straightforward design. It's got a lovely soft touch finish to it, which feels particularly nice on the fingers. And it's nice and compact as well, so you can easily bung it in a pocket, uh, slip it into a bag, whatever you want to do. And that right there in a nutshell is what I think of the Urban Easter Athens True Wireless Earbuds after testing them out for around a week or so. So yeah, for 120 quid, they may be a little bit pricey. If you can find it for that like £100 price point as they were when I shot this video, then I'd say it's a bit more value for money there. They offer, you know, strong performance, very heavy on the base. So if you're into your base, then great stuff. Decent battery life, nice design, nice and comfortable in there. And of course, fully sweatproof, waterproof and everything as well. So great if you're gonna be pounding the pavement, hitting the gym, doing that kind of stuff that I do not obviously do on a regular basis. The only problem is that the Creative Outlay Golds have basically screwed everything up for every other pair of True Wireless earbuds around the £100 and under mark. Incredible performance, slick design and brilliant battery life. Again, for our sort of £80 price point, they really can't be beat. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you've got your own pair of True Wireless earbuds that you've been testing out, you're particularly impressed by, it'd definitely be great to hear your thoughts on those as well. Please do pop subscribe, ding that notifications bell for all on the latest and greatest tech. And have yourselves a lovely week, people. Cheers, love you.